Okay guys, Mr. Ballion back here and I'm just going to go uh, take a step back and talk about this concept here, this sketch over here and how it relates to here. Okay, so we're just going to go into Sketchbook Pro. Some of you who don't have access to a tablet in your rotation uh, will be using uh, paper and pencil. Okay, all right. I mentioned in my tutorial earlier in the Maya 3D modeling one that we are using basic primitives. Okay. Okay, so I'm using uh, just some kind of a pencil here. The color doesn't matter. So I said to you guys, what I want to see from you guys is uh, working on these kind of things. Uh, learn how to draw ovals, okay? And just as kind of review, and then we'll make a cylinder. We'll come over here. We'll turn it, turn it, turn it like that. And eventually, you'll end up doing things like this, okay? So you'll go over it and go, yep, this is okay. I know it's a cylinder. You don't always have to do this part. But eventually, you will. Uh, if you're showing the surface, for sure, you need to show that part. Okay, as you know, this part here is actually invisible to the eye because it's underneath. Okay, so uh, reviews. I want to. I basically looking at this uh, composition again. If I just hit something here, boom, right here. So what do we have? We have a cone. We have a sphere and we have a cylinder and box shapes to do the rest, okay? So these are the things that I want you guys to be comfortable in doing, okay? So a box is really this, just uh, just square of any kind or a rectangle, but then you can actually uh, start adding depth to it by doing things like this. So this, this cube really is not in perspective, it's not really an isometric, it's just giving it depth, okay? Nothing um, of value there, but going beyond just a rectangle is kind of your goal here or a square watch what I mean so again I talked to you guys about isometrics in the past there it is here it is roughly 30 degrees I talked about in my other videos so good okay you've got that okay let's talk about the cone right here again I'm gonna start with my oval shape somewhere in the middle here okay and you're just gonna go straight up straight up and then connect 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 and I keep telling you guys all the time go over your line work have fun with it okay so you can kind of see the more times I go over an area that's the area that has uh, a little um, the eye goes to basically there's more stuff going on here okay so I'm just hatching a bit there's my cone all right again the sphere my technique for the sphere is for you guys to just simply make an oval shape and then just do this part here okay uh, what I'm going to concentrate on this time here, I'm going to jump around from here to do the top hat. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. You guys know how to make a cylinder in Maya. Okay, there it is. What I said to you guys, when you're making a cylinder, there's all these segments, which are these, that have these segments that come down and floating around. So this is an edge. Okay, I'm going to zoom out because this looks a little fuzzy. Okay, there. So these edges, okay? So what I want to do is I want to taper this in from here, okay? To make that top hat. So you can even have this on an angle here if you're so inclined. And then I'm thinking of having a ribbon that goes around my hat here like this. So we'll just turn it, turn it if we can. And then we have another one. Uh, here's the part that's the top hat here, like this part here. Like it's almost like your visor. Okay, so, and then if you wanted to do this, like if you want to have a flower or something in your drawing, feel free to do that for your snowman, okay? So I'm going to concentrate on this right now in 3D, just to kind of review with you guys. Hopefully Maya is open down here somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of my light, delete, I'm going to put this on a new layer, and then I'm just going to hit for visibility, bye-bye. We have a grid, here's my cylinder, okay? You press F, it zooms in for you, it frames it. So if we right click here, uh, okay, before I do that, let me just double check something here. Down here, poly cylinder, my setting is one radius, height is two. So this is one plus one is two, and then two is height, and then the subdivision is 20 here, see? Okay, so if I change this to 11, check it out, okay? If I change this to 30, boom, it's gonna be even rounder, okay? So I think it was somewhere in the 20s, I don't know, doesn't matter. Okay, so what I want you to remember here is this edge. Look at this, really, really cool. Oh, I have soft select on. If you ever see this orange yellow business, that means I have soft select on, because I was working on that earlier. Okay, so this is this single click, you select an edge.
Control Z, Command Z. If you double click in it, you get the entire loop. How cool is that? Okay, so we're going to spin around by holding Option left click. Check it out. We're going to look at the underside. And I'm going to double click here. I'm going to spin around and I'm actually going to hold my Option and just, just Option and middle scroll to pan. And I want to taper this. So I'm going to press R, which is here. And always when I'm scaling, guys, if you can't see this, try to find the cube in the middle. See? From the middle. Look how nice that is. Okay? If I wanted to scale this one from the top in, that's what I would do. You want it out. So, for example, you're making the tree. You could have done this out of cylinders if you want, as opposed to cones. It's up to you. But we're sticking to the top hat right now. Okay? There. Okay? See how cool that is? Done. Very nice. Okay, and I'm going to make it come out a bit more, make it more cartoony. And another thing I can do here, I can press E for rotate. Watch this. And you can do things like that. Okay, so I'm rotating. But again, please, 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 when you are rotating, uh, do yourself a favor. Don't rotate from the middle because now you're doing some wild stuff. Um, just stick to one axis, okay? Just stick to one axis and rotate accordingly. All right, object mode to get out. Done. W for move and I'm going to pan around I mean uh, orbit around and here it is so what I'm going to do is get another cylinder in here I haven't done anything look there's a simple cylinder right if I press R now watch what I can do like that you get where I'm going with this right so I'm going to do this part here okay there's that part here maybe I'll make that wider something like that it sticks out pretty cool right Okay, from my top hat, it's up to you if you want to do it on an angle or not. Does not matter to me. Okay, it's just you're showing a little more um, comfort in this or complexity. So to duplicate the same command, Command D, and we'll just do the base of the hat right here. Okay, and then I'll press R, crank it down, something like that, and then scale it from the middle, like that. W. Here we go. Okay, something like that. So here's my hat, okay? I'm not liking this uh, idea of uh, the angle. So I'm going to right click, go to edge, double click there, E for rotate. I'll just bring it back to something like that. Just a subtle, a subtle rotation is better. Okay, cool. Object mode, sweet, done. Okay, so I've got this, and here it is. And maybe I'll bring this out a touch more, the rim here, like that. Okay, good. Okay, get out, object mode, done. W. Okay, so I have these three selected. You've seen me demo this before. What I'm going to do is combine these together, okay? So you're going to go like this, mesh, combine. In this application, look at this, delete by type history. So you, you see all, all these things down here that I did? Once I press this delete by type history, bye bye, history's gone. It's one thing. So I'm going to call this top hat, see? Top hat done. How are we doing on time here? Good, okay? So my hat's done. If I want to put a flower over here or something, uh, let's just put a maybe a donut or something here. Let's see a torus. What does this say? Radius. Let's see. Point one maybe. Okay, cool. Way too big. Radius here. Point two. W. Bring it out here. Turn it over. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm just bringing some kind of a shape here. Okay. So spinning it around. W. Let's have some fun with this. Okay. Something like that. Uh, maybe it's like a big Cheerio, who knows. Section radius, no twist, we'll just do point zero 0.05. Okay, how about when I think that point 0.1? Okay, you go point zero 0.05. Okay, good. And maybe I'll scale this up, who knows. I just thought about it right now. And there's that piece right there, okay? So I've got all this. So I'm looking at it. I should rotate it a touch to fit the angle. Good, okay. That's done. Okay, so that's kind of cool. I've got something going on, or I could always have it on the side. So I'm going to select all these again, mesh combine, and then delete by type history, center. Okay, that was fast, but this is a nice little top hat. And again, to add it into our materials, we're just going to right click, new material, and Arnold and ambient occlusion. Okay, leave the rest alone. And then if I was to render this, hopefully you'll see my hat there. Okay, I didn't put the the lighting, uh, the set here, Arnold Lights Sky Dome, okay? I'd like to see you guys spend some time on that. That's kind of fun, okay? And if I just move this, hang on, way up here, and then I'll bring my little area back. So I'll just come over here, and what you're going to do is press space bar, look at your view. Oh, look, this is the top view. I'll just go like that, bring it down, over, 
and many of you are trying that. In this view, it's not even close because the height's not right. So if I zoom out here, look, bring it down. There, see? That, look at it over here, and then not bad actually, it's pretty cool. So let me space bar here, like that. And what I did for mine, guys, to see my edges, I love seeing my edges, I did that, okay? So here, um, you're welcome to model the arms, uh, you know, maybe a couple twigs here, a broom, and then the pattern. We talked about all this. So if I press E here, I rotate. That goes W here, like that. See, it's kind of look good. And if you want to add uh, a scarf, feel free to do it. So this is kind of cool, right? So if I take a shot with this, uh, let me just check something. Window, Outliner. This is where everything you've created, so I don't have any lights in here right now. So I'll just go to Arnold. I'll bring it back. Skadoom. Okay, so we're just trying to I'll move this one this way. Maybe I'll rotate. Oops, look at what I didn't do, guys. Look, I'm going to select these guys. So the way to do it is this. Okay, select one, left click, shift, shift, left click, shift, left click, shift, left click, click and so on. Like mesh, combine. Get rid of the history, and let's call it my hut or house, whatever house, chalet. Okay, rotate. Let me rotate it, and I can actually scale it and so on. Okay. So looking at this here and here, I can mesh combine these later if I want. So right now I'm just playing with composition a bit. I've got something in the foreground, and this guy here, not bad. Let's take a quick shot and call it the end here. Okay, this one doesn't have the material, or maybe it does. Look how nice that is, eh? Sweet! And then you just go File, Save As, and you're done. Save it as a JPEG. Okay, guys? Ballion out, another tutorial for my grade 9s. Nope, not that one. This one. Yes, Ballion out.